good Saturday morning. It's a rare Saturday morning because I have it off. Uh, we're going to get this thing running today. I've already got the props on. And, uh, spoiler test, I've already tried it. It does make thrust. These are Fluxer 32 by 11. Pretty sure they're T-Motor. Uh, T-Motor made 32 by 11 propellers. Same shape, same data sheet even. Um, just different brand name, but... Yeah, those are strapped on. Everything kicks over like it should. But what we're doing today, making sure it works and testing the control unit to make sure that the gyro actually functions. So I'm going to be doing some code rewriting so I can go outside and look like a fool spinning around in the yard with an eight-foot stick to make sure that it actually shuts it off. We've got our battery charging over here. You might recognize that from our first video on building the battery. So that's on its way up. Yeah, let's get the props taken off of this and uh, start doing some cartwheels. Okay, I know I'm really jumping around here, but I don't have a lot of time today and I'm trying to get this thing working. Uh, this is the very cluttered room that my dad uses for video editing. I've got the gauge in here because my computer died. <laughs> uh, Windows decided to totally stop working, so I'm using these. Uh, PC, whatever. Um, just in the code here, I'm instead of giving all of these conditionals to uh, tell me that the risers are twisting, I'm actually going to just go ahead and print how fast it's twisting um, so I can go outside and get an idea of how fast that actually looks like. Anyways, I've already uploaded it. Let's go outside and check it out. Well, here we are, uh, hanging outside from a swing set. Uh, this screen needs to be rotated down because this is basically my my vantage point. Um, but yeah, it, the 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 whole boom pushing against the risers things works successfully and uh, it functions. So check this out. Calibrate that voltage and like 4.1 really. Whoa. <laughs> I'm hanging from the center point, so it kind of rotates me. hanging from it, but it's still thrust, so here it is. Nice. That'll work. So you'll have to excuse me because I've taught myself how to program Arduino. I've never taken a programming class in my life, but uh, turns out if you actually tell what you're trying to use to start working it works a lot better well here we are other than uh actually gluing this in place i'm done uh let me just walk you through functions i'm gonna plug this in here
powers up and asks me to set throttle to low, which is just don't touch it. And then set throttle to high, so it knows the range. And then release throttle again, so we're not running away. And we're up and running. So at the top we have uh, AGL, which is above ground level, which is right here where it started. It can go to negative, as you saw there at the very beginning, I crouched down. Yeah. Uh, NOSL is actual mean sea level. That's pretty accurate. It's all air pressure based, so it comes and goes with the weather. Uh, below that is battery voltage. That is accurate. You can watch it drop as the motor spin. And then uh, the status went down there at the bottom. That'll show low voltage and it'll also show the twist. So here we go twisting. Made it a little more sensitive and made it last longer. So twist, now it's one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi until you can really go again. And uh, yeah, so if you're flying along and you get you get a single motor or speed controller or propeller failure and you start getting a riser twist, it'll stop. So, there it is. So I have a little bit of cleaning up to do on the screen. It likes to index everything upwards, and I'm not sure why with the uh, blank space at the bottom. But it's all there and it all works. That's the big safety concern for me, is uh, even though these motors do not fail very often, if ever, if they do, I want to make sure I'm not spaghettied. Uh, prop guards, of course, to guard from the propeller, but the riser twist thing really scared me. And now I've got that figured out. So, great day for test flying things. Windy as hell. Let's check out weight. So I've got the propellers on, batteries in the backpack uh, part of the harness, and all the electronics are installed. So this is ready to fly. My weight, 165. Strap this thing on. All right. So uh, powered on, battery, propellers, it all actually functions. This is ready to fly. One ninety nine. So it's uh wow, I'm bad at math. Thirty five pounds. Thirty five pounds plus a wing to get you into the air. Not too bad. Well, that's all I've got for this video. Uh, working limp drive paramotor. Pretty cool. Uh, like, comment, subscribe like everybody else does. Really subscribe. Let's me know that people are interested in what I'm doing. I do this more as a video blog, I guess. So when people ask what I did this week, I can point them to videos. But um, it's cool to think that other people like to know what I'm what I'm up to. Uh, this will be available eventually for building. It's going to be open source once I iron all the bugs out and actually get it to fly. If you want to see it fly, make sure you're watching and subscribed on the channel for that. Thanks for watching.